Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Okay, here's another news from Yahoo Finance and I want you to comment under it, okay? Here what it says is, the co-founder of a major crypto wallet says, putting your money into cryptocurrencies is gambling. Guess what? The co-founder of a major crypto wallet, it's not like people say, uneducated person like me or person who doesn't know what is crypto. This is a co-founder of a major crypto wallet. So let's hear what they have to say. Aaron Davis, the co-founder of a popular crypto wallet says investing in crypto is gambling. The rare remark from a founder of a major crypto player, MetaMask, boasts of 30 million users. So it's not uneducated me. It's not, oh, you boomers are very, you know, uh, you boomers are very bitter. Oh, you, it must be burning you. No, this is a crypto wallet, major founder, not like you and me. He is a big guy. He has 30 million users. He founded that company. So he's educated, not like you keyboard warriors who saying, oh, what do you know about crypto? Like one idiot, he commented below my videos. He was saying, oh, Mr. Loy, you are uneducated and uninformed about crypto. So I said, okay, fine, educate me. And he's saying, yeah, he's, I don't know, some bullshit he gave about uh, all the stuff that is online. So one of the guys asked him, so how many, how many thousands or millions have you invested in crypto? Oh, I've never invested anything in crypto. I just read about crypto. So there are uneducated, stupid idiots like this, or who invest peanuts, peanuts, but they make a big noise under, you know, these uh, social media platforms. So here, this is a big guy, Aaron Davis. So what he says, the co-founder says is extremely dangerous to in today's crypto, uh, as today's crypto is, is a, wait a minute, the co-founder said it's extremely dangerous to say today's crypto is the future of finance. Okay. Now, what I want to tell you here is the problem with the people, huh, they all feel they, everyone feels he's an expert on crypto. Everyone feels he knows NFT, he knows blockchain. Nobody is ready to admit that, oh, I made a mistake. I messed up here is one guy who's admitting. And you know why he's admitting? He's admitting. Why? Simply because now he knows, well, we no longer can tell lies. We no longer can get away with it. We no longer can fool people. Might as well, I will admit and I will be considered a saint. He's also guilty because he's involved in the same thing. Had he said this right from day one, I would have respected him. He's saying it now when the bubble has burst, when the bubble has exploded. Okay. So the co-founder of a popular crypto wallet said investing in digital assets is gambling. Okay, in an interview with Vice, I need to see that, Aaron Davis of MetaMask, which has allowed crypto's users to place and store their holdings for six years now, warned people against staking their life savings in crypto. Only now they are saying, now they are saying, not before, now they are saying, as the industry faces month-long sell-off that is showing few signs of stopping. It's not only going to continue, there are going to be very tough regulations and crypto is going to go down, 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 down. And we are going to enjoy the circus show. And then you'll get many of these experts. Oh, what do you know about crypto? What do you know? Shut up. Just shut up. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Shut. Zip. Zip. You know, like I, I tell these guys, you're nothing and nobody. So shut up. You're just some guy with his computer and laptop and two, three GPUs. And you're trying to mine some nonsense and some peanuts what it's, it's you know it's like one of those gamers or programmers who feels he's going to change the world you're nothing and nobody you're just one person okay and you want everyone to believe in your cult and religion i'm sorry but you have failed you are losing you try to convince the whole world but you have failed all the cryptocurrency believers i'm telling you this you have failed you are jacked and you are going to cry boo -hoo -hoo. and we are going to enjoy why because we told you before you didn't listen okay then uh, it feels too late, but putting your money into cryptocurrencies is gambling. Okay, that bullshit. I'm not saying that we have right now is a future of finance. You should move your life savings over. A lot of people are advocating that it is extremely dangerous behavior. Of course. Now, 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 why are you telling us? Shut up. In a rare admission from someone who has found, who has founded or leads a major cryptocurrency uh, company, it's a very rare admission. Yeah. 
like i told you before when the boom was happening when people were giving money he wouldn't admit now he'll admit because he thinks oh now it's time for me to show i'm a gentleman no you he himself should be held accountable crypto uh, critics have long linked crypto investing to gambling which i've told you dubbing the market with unregulated as a unregulated casino others have labeled it as a ponzi scheme which i've told you arguing that it relies on recruiting new investors to repay early ones who have already coughed up the cash yeah it's like i buy and you'll pay higher i make money i'll buy again you pay higher i make money that's how crypto works and it's nothing but just like a mlm multi level marketing just like a ponzi scheme just like a pyramid scheme it's it's total bullshit man absolute utter bullshit the rich guys don't have to worry who have bought this board ape board monkey board invisible whatever nft nonsense okay for them no problem but it's people ordinary people normal people they are going to be jacked in my group i myself have around three guys who are uh, crying and all that who is going to help you now it's your stupidity see they might say oh i invested only 5% or 10% of my yeah that 5 10% is it, it's not like 5 bucks or 10 bucks it 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 is money and it hurts us we as human beings even when we lose a little bit it hurts us so that is why now former employee now bankrupt crypto <laughs> the former employee of the now bankrupt crypto lending platform celsius another great legendary company is suing his former employer calling it a ponzi scheme too late okay the law alleges celsius failed to hedge against risk resulting in liquidity crisis and a suspension of withdrawals that trapped its users holdings you are not going to get your money back you are finished bye bye ha ha enjoy okay davis fellow meta masco founder david finley said they may be bad actors in the crypto world but there is so much meta mask there's only so much meta mask can do now they'll all wash their hands and say oh there's only so much we can do all these are bad people where were you before we can't stop people from making ponzi schemes on blockchain why are you the saint finley told vice it's a definition impossible for us to wrap the whole thing into one unified bow and enforce it in a direction when you were making money you didn't care now you're trying to act like a saint no i'm sorry you're all you know you're all guilty all of these people all these people are you know they should be jailed all the and the people who lost money it's your problem you took a risk nobody forced you you are an idiot one of the ways that we have the ecosystem keep momentum towards better uses is to make information that they exposed to increasingly consensual all big big words uh, so that there are better and more credible use cases people have the opportunities to be exposed blah 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 and blah 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 more exclusive we can't ban ponzi's but we can deprive them of precious oxygen of exposure yes nice sounding words doesn't mean anything no nothing it means Davis and Finley also discussed their vice with vice their company turning 6 and boasting 30 million active users the ongoing storm raging in the crypto market and its failures and they hope that despite the fact they'll have a bright future no you'll also be bankrupt and it'll be fun to see you also losing everything and finally maybe they also will be taken to task but i can assure you this much the rich guys all have made their money the big founders and all that either they'll escape or they'll vanish like everyone else like that three what is that uh, three three arrows capital all of them will vanish billions and nobody will find them and then simply they'll make case after case but people like who have invested you're idiots and you deserve it okay we will know that we or somebody else did the right thing when we address climate change uh, okay and better social equality uh, finley said he's making billions and he's talking of social equality there are two longest terms these those are my two longest term hopes for the ecosystem just shut up okay so all i can tell you is this guy meta mask the big guy he himself is admitting cryptocurrency is gambling do you need any more evidence hmm. so one by one now they're going to admit when they had to make money everyone made Now when people are losing you cry alone That's all I wanted to say let me know your thoughts in the comment section below love to hear from you this is me saying bye bye take care